In Daniel chapter 9, Daniel was um, crying out to God. His people had been carried away into Babylon, and they had been there for some time, 70 years. And Daniel began to intercede on behalf of the people. And he began to cry out to the living God. And he was confessing his sin, and he was confessing the sin of the nation. He was acknowledging right Daniel was acknowledging that everything that had happened to them happened because they had rebelled against God because they had rejected God they refused to listen to the prophets and listen to the word of God so all these things that had come upon the nation Daniel was taking responsibility amen and so he cried out to God and he pleaded and asked God to remember that we are your people Lord Save us, not because of because we deserve it, but because of who you are. Save us, Lord. And God heard Daniel's prayer and he honored that. Amen. So the Lord put it in my heart to write a prayer based off of Daniel chapter 9. Almost mirroring the same prayer that Daniel wrote. I changed up a few words to make it personal for our nation, to make it personal for our own families. So I pray that you would pray this with me and that um, you would pray for your own family and even for the own condition of your heart. Amen. But intercede with me on behalf of this nation. So with that being said, I'm going to jump right into it. And remember, it's not a, a prayer about many words. It's not about a prayer with many words, but it's a prayer that's prayed with faith. Amen. The prayer of faith that moves mountains. And it's the prayer of the righteous, those that have been made righteous in Jesus Christ. Amen. That is effective. So my prayer again is that you would pray this with me. Pause the video. If you got to go into a private place, go out in your car, get in your room somewhere, get in a quiet place somewhere and pray this prayer with me from your heart. If you got to write the words down and in your personal prayer life, um, pray this as often as you can. Amen. So here we go. Oh Lord, great and awesome God who keeps his covenant and his mercy with those who love him and with those who keep his commandments. Lord, we have sinned and committed iniquities. We have done wickedly and rebelled. And we have departed from your commandments and your judgments. We have not listened to your servants and the ministers who you sent to us who spoke in your name. To you, O Lord, belongs righteousness. But as for us this day, Lord, our face is covered in shame and our lives and our people have been scattered because of the unfaithfulness that we committed against you. We have not obeyed your voice, O Lord my God, to walk in the instructions which you gave us through your spirit, through your word, and through your ministers. Yes, Lord, we have transgressed your law, departing from you, refusing to obey your voice. Therefore, these disasters have been poured out upon our life and upon our nation because we have sinned against you. Yet even with everything that has happened, Lord, we still have not humbled ourselves to seek you or to lift up our prayers before you, to turn away from our iniquities and to understand your truth. And therefore, these disasters have come upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous, though we have not obeyed your voice. Now, you, O oh Lord, our God, you made a name for yourself that endures till this day when you brought your people out of Egypt with a mighty hand and when you personally delivered each and every one of us. Yet even still we have sinned and have done wickedly. So now, O oh Lord, according to all your righteousness and according to the righteousness of your Son, Jesus Christ, let your anger and your fury be turned away from us. Because we are your children. And we are the temple of your Holy Spirit. Because of our sins and because of our iniquities. We have become a reproach to all those around us and all the nations around us. Now therefore my God. Hear the prayers and the supplications of your servants. And for your sake my Lord. For your name's sake. Make your face shine upon us once again because we have become desolate. 
Make your face shine upon our nation. Make your face shine upon our families. Make your face shine upon me, Lord. Oh, my God. Incline your ear and hear us. Open your eyes and see the desolations of the people who carry your name. Lord, we do not present these prayers and supplications to you because we are righteous or because of our own righteous deeds. No, Lord, we acknowledge that we don't deserve your help. But Lord, instead, we come to you humbly and boldly before your throne of grace because of who you are, because of who your son is, because of your great mercy, that we may receive grace and mercy in this time of need. Oh, Lord, hear us. Oh, Lord, forgive us. Oh, Lord, listen to our prayer and take action. For your own sake, do not delay. Because we are your sons and daughters, and we are called by your name. Oh, Lord, Yahweh, Jehovah, we pray and we ask these things in the precious name of your one and only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. So again, that is the prayer that I have been praying every day for the past week and I'm going to continue to pray so I pray that you would write the words down if you have to put it in a journal and in your personal prayer time if God puts it in your heart pray this prayer and intercede on behalf of our nation because God is saying to his people if my people who were called by my name would humble themselves and pray turn from their wicked ways and seek my face I would hear from heaven and I would heal their land God wants us to pray. God wants his body to pray. God wants his people to pray. Amen. And what better way to pray than to, to pray and, and institute the word of God into our prayers. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Share this with somebody in Jesus' name.